Mobile, Alabama, and the sprawling yard of the Alabama Dry Dock and Shipbuilding Company, where some of the biggest ships afloat can be hauled out of the water and given, as they say, a shave and a haircut. A shave and a haircut for a ship means having the bottom inspected, cleaned, and painted. They perform much more difficult building and repair jobs here, but even a once over lightly, a shave and a haircut is a sizable undertaking. It involves, first of all, maneuvering many thousands of tons of ship into a submerged dry dock a few inches at a time. Only when it's lined up perfectly can they start pumping the water out of the dock, raising it enough to leave the huge ship high and dry. It takes more than an hour to get the ship in position and then bring it out of the water, resting on cradles set in place earlier by experts who were guided by the ship's blueprints. Although it seems to be in a very precarious position, actually it's almost as firmly based as the skyscraper it approaches in size and weight. First step in refurbishing the bottom is a thorough hosing down. After this will come an inspection of every square foot, repairs of any damaged plates, chipping and grinding off of barnacles and old paint, and the application of a new paint job. Although it's been in business nearly 40 years, the company, with its ultra-modern facilities, is representative of the youthful, energetic southern shipping industry that only in the past few years has really begun to come into its own. The same enterprising spirit may be found in other branches of the industry, which has had quite a job keeping up with the expansion of southern industry and agriculture generally. Firms like the Strong Shipping Company of Savannah, Georgia, handle not only the exports and imports of southern farms and factories, but extend their services as well to areas as remote as Wisconsin and Nebraska, serving as their outlet to the world too. To India goes structural steel, rice, wheat, and the other products it needs. And from India come things like the rug burlap we need for the backing of rugs and carpets. Savannah, Charleston, and Wilmington are three southern Atlantic ports competing not only with each other, but with all other Atlantic and Gulf ports for the shipping business of states hundreds of miles inland. New Orleans is one city that seems to find the competition invigorating. Closest port to South America, New Orleans handles a good percentage of bananas that come into the country, and handles them very efficiently. Coffee is another big item on the import list. And another big city taking part in the growth of southern ocean traffic is Houston, Texas, which had to build a 57-mile channel to the Gulf in order to become a seaport. Cotton is shipped out in 100,000 bale quantities every year. But the South Sea economy is no longer strictly a cotton economy by any means. Petroleum in its various forms accounts for a large part of the exports as do farm products and manufactured goods of all variety. Helping to make Houston one of the largest and busiest ocean ports in the country, and helping to boost the South shipping industry to a position from which it can compete on equal terms with any other part of the nation. <laughs>